When I was 14 years old, I was introduced to a big stress. I was a fairly athletic child with a specific passion to high bar gymnastics. I loved that feeling of free motions. Not for long, though. I fell down from high bar on a bare wooden floor on my spine. I learned back then what stress means. Trust me, I got it. And it took me a while to adapt to such a transition. I was okay with pain. I was okay with going to the doctors, chiropractors, all of those methods that I tried. One thing I was missing. I was missing my self-sufficiency, my assurance. And I couldn't find it in any method that I was looking for. Well, I find one method, and you can guess what that was. Right, with a glass of wine, chocolate on the couch. <laughs> Learning from my education that my behavior will influence the genetics, and then genetics will influence the behavior of mine later. I kind of started thinking. I couldn't do it for long. My child was born when I was 30, so with my own eyes, I've seen that kids like mirror image to us. They take mimic us. And learn from us everything that they, we do. And I was thinking, what do they actually take from us? What do they, what we give them as the information, as the knowledge? And to me, that was a very interesting point. I was looking for solution. And as you know, when you're looking for solution in life, it will come back to you. Once my life turned completely, with meeting Master Hora. Founder of Practice Hora and Hora Method, Alexandra Tayan. He gave me a very interesting intellectual component: the knowledge that I carry through all my life afterwards, knowing that it is valuable so much that I have to share it with you. First one: that humans are actually the end product of unconscious evolution. Second one: that. With the conscious component, biological evolution doesn't have to take thousands of years; it could be shorter. And the third component, very important one, that natural law or instinct not only could be decoded but also could be comprehended and trained. He gave me the training. This training of correctly organized stress or pressure on a body or a physical structure. Was capable of giving me such a stability that I could feel through entire body, such a flexibility that I only remember was when I was an athletic child, and sharpness of mind. That is exactly the moment that I wanted to go back to the first sentence that I asked you: Can we actually pause the time and set aside emotions in order to keep productivity, productive conversation? So that exactly was the point. I got it all. The productive self-sufficiency back, and when I was 35, not only, as you see in the picture, I was capable of carrying my son on my shoulder, but I started a startup, a certified woman-owned business that became life work. And in this work, I find a purpose. I would like to be a good example, so I need to take my own ongoing changes or evolution, in other words, into my own hands. And actually take responsibility. What am I as a example for young people? And with my business, I started to organize training. Since 2012, each once a year in university, I organized Hor Trans Fitness event. We call it Natural Creation versus Self Destruction. It, the training itself, the way you will see it, speaks for itself. So kids who comes to this training with the idea that actually hang together and have fun, but without substances. This very training have 90% of those kids who never come to this training before. So you can imagine they came with a heavy feet, dragging, um, a slouch back, looking at their phone. But just in 50 minutes, I was witnessing the transition of 100 kids coming. Back from tiredness to productivity, they were having the same stability as I was describing earlier. 
they have this flexibility and beauty of motion with sharpness of mind and this very, seems special attention that I was talking about. Kids and teenagers in general, they have very curious nature. They came to me and asked, how is that possible? I came tired, then I worked for 15 minutes, and then I turned up to be charged. And as me 15 years ago, I asked founder of Practice Horror the same question. How is that the transformation happens so fast? And he said to me, we are civilized people. We don't pay attention to natural law. And this natural law he called a nature's triad. And the first component you see is transformation. So you see, I put a dash. The base of this word is trans, with the S at the end. I looked at the dictionary, and actual translation of this word is just go, move, <laughs> transition, ongoing movement. So I understand that ongoing transition or changes is normal. It's only us who get stressed with changes that we have to adapt to, like me in the beginning of this presentation, being 14 years old. So I thought there should be something naturally where I go fast through a lot of changes without stress. Well, and I found it. In the beginning of my life, and each and one of yours as well, when you're inside of your mother womb, can you imagine? You take a journey from being a cell and go through three and a half billions of years of evolution in just nine months. What a productivity. <laughs> We don't remember stressful coming out of that. <laughs> so maybe we have to reconsider looking at the stress as just ongoing processes. Would it be great to train it? So the next component he described for me is gravity. I remember myself with Vine on a couch being grounded, by my problem, but with this wonderful training, he explained to us that gravity to us is like water to a fish. We can't feel it, but if you think about it, then you can see it in the mirror. Gravitational force multiplied by time is visible on your face. You can feel it when you need to get up in the bed in, from the bed in the morning and it feels heavy. That's gravity. It's not you lazy. <laughs> and also, sometimes it's hard to get up from the chair. So all of those components, thinking how the gravity can be a useful factor for you, I learned from Practice Hora. And the last one is mobilization. This is a very important component. Mobilization is like a stutter for you to move. Before you get up, you need this stutter, you need this torque, sort of speak, in order to engage yourself into the motion. So if you think about nature, they have natural instinct of survival. They will be moving because they are scared of dying naturally, and they would run away fast, and this would be their torque. For athletes, their ideological component will make them go. Like, I would like to be a winner. Or, for example, the responsibilities that athletes might have. So with all saying, you see the difference mobilization from nature, and athlete type of mobilization. So all of those three components together, as I said before, is called nature's triad. So in 21st century, we can take our own evolution into our own hands, because we are living in a society where a scientific approach is normal. So literally, I give you a training, you see the result. If you like the result, you repeat it again. That's a scientific approach. So now we're coming to the fun part. <laughs> I would like to have an experiment with you today. I hope you're okay with that. But first, I will explain and show to you what it looks like. So there's two key components that we're going to do today. First key component, we call it a fast key, because you're going to do movement with the fast music. And in this movement, base of this movement, is in search of adrenaline, which is natural, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. While baby is standing on it, somebody's hand, you see this adrenaline rush is actually helping baby in such an age to stand up when they probably cannot even sit or crawl yet. With athlete in exchange, they have to deal with too much of adrenaline. You see they're shaking their hands and feet in order to release adrenaline, in order not to get overwhelmed. And this is the trained one. Why would you like to train the adrenaline in search? Well, because it's going to balance your state. If you're too sleepy, you're going to wake up. If you are too stressed, you're going to release distress. That is a great training. So the next component is as we call slow key. Slow key because you're going to do physical motion with the slow music. 
Uh, the base component of this key, slow key, is a natural reflex of elongation, which common to every grown organism. Do you want to see what it looks like? <laughs> so you see, this is grown-up cat. And it would be a question, why they do such a training being grown up? Well, naturally, probably cat or any other animal would know that flexibility transformed as pliability and stability for that well-being. For the baby, it's just naturally growing process. That's how kids grow. But can you imagine early in the morning when you wake up, that's exactly what you do. Your organs recall to each other to reconnect. Such a smart nature. Sometimes people forget to do it in the morning. Why it's good to train it? Because again, flexibility transported from the body into your mind, being able to learn more, faster decision making, and then you're just going to be adaptable easier to life in general. So, and now I think you're ready to conduct an experiment with me. You're not going to have to stand up. I will just explain to you what we're going to do. Okay, first, um, your feet have to be rooted to the ground. And what we're going to do, let's try it together. Your feet will be running just like that. Let's try it. Beautiful. Now your hands. Your hands will be shivering just like a butterfly flying, like that. And you're going to move forward, and we're going to have short stops and the faster stops. So short stops look like this. Up, and you stop, and they start moving again. In the longer stop, we will pay attention to your fingers. You know that your fingers connected to your brain, so if you want to train your brain, you better train your fingers. So that's the fast key with the fast music. The slow one will connect the center of your palm through the entire side of your body into the center of your arch. And we're going to pull, thinking that there is a line, pulling one side. Let's try it. Releasing it. And then another side. Releasing it. Wonderful. Let's go. Music, please. Legs are running. Two hands up. Perfect. And we'll have one hand up, another down. And hold. And we're going to strengthen your fingers. Strengthen your fingers. Attention to the tips of your fingers. Strengthening and slowly let go. Perfect. And now we have another motion where we're going to cross the hand. Perfect. Look up. Beautiful. And hold. Strengthen your fingers. Strengthening to your fingers, strengthening, 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 and slowly let go. Your feet and hands running. Perfect. Now we're going to have one more motion, slightly to the side, and another side. Just mirror image me. Thank you. Perfect. And... Up, and we're going to strengthen your fingers, strengthen your fingers, strengthening, 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 and slowly let go. Both hands up. One more time. Perfect. And we're going to massage your hands, preparing for the slow motion. Each finger, just a little bit. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Keep massaging your hands, which again is really good for your connection. Perfect. Now we're going to connect center of your palm through the body to the center of your arch. And we're going to pull right side all the way up. 
and down. And another side. And down. Perfect. Bring your hands in front of you. You pull two hands into the center, one foot up, down. Pull two hands, arch up and down. Beautiful. One hand up, another down. Pulling two hands in, releasing, switching. Bring your hands in front of you to the side, mirror image me. Into another side, pulling in and heel down. Another heel in through the arch and down. Beautiful. Now that again, one side, let's do right one and down. Another side and down. Bring your hands crisscross, pulling in, releasing. Pulling in, releasing. Pulling in, releasing. Pulling in. And slowly release your hands. As this is an experiment, you can ask yourself, is your psyche get a little calmer? Is your physical stability a little bit more comfortable? So with that being said, release yourself from stress, physiological and psychological. Now you have chance, capability, to actually move and take your next evolutionary step as a humankind, but do it consciously. Thank you.